bloody, bloody match. Yeah, uh, Zero Must here in the chat is asking, is this post points change? Yes, these are yeah. these lists are using the most current version of the points. Um, and I'm not sure how those affected the resistance list. Is this is this for um, the for resistance? our list? You, you, or uh, sorry, Republic, uh, yeah. Republic list. Uh, is this not at all. The uh, I twos remained I twos. Mm -hmm. I think Sinker didn't change, or maybe he changed by a point. So it was absolutely incidental. No, oh, it's I mean a lot of the effective. reason that people favor um, Republic lists mm -hmm. right now, why they're one of the top favorites, is because those. <laughs> Absolutely, zanily costed forty-two point I two arcs uh, stayed in the game hmm. instead of going up, as many people thought they would. Um, and that's a nine health, a three attack dice behemoth on the table. Mm -hmm. Plus, Sinker is handing out re rolls to any of his friends in his side arcs. Now so um, we have the three rocks placed, lickety split. We've also got uh, Seventh Fleet Gunner on two of these arcs. Now I'm not entirely sure how that works. Can we bring up that card, please? Um, oh, that's a lot of text. That might disappear before we get a uh, chance to read it. Um, here, when another uh, friendly ship in your uh, arc performs a primary attack, you can spend your charge to give them an extra attack die. That's the deal. Um, okay, one extra attack die when they're in your side arc. Uh, I believe. They are just... Uh, no, if the defender's also in your arc. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it just requires the defender in your arc. Yep. Uh, you can reload it in system phase by taking a disarm token. Ah. So, Rebel Beef went away with the point update, and instead we're left with a lot of beefy stuff in the Republic. Hmm. Um, so, we'll see how this goes. Now, Don has the skill, and he has the initiative advantage to do this but he's got to not screw up yeah uh, if he manages to take uh, find himself at the the wrong end of a four or even five dice attack by a seven fleet gunner now can you use two seven fleet gunners on the same attack no, um, no. in fact you can make it a maximum of four dice oh maximum four dice okay but um, the card stipulates that so even if you had extra attack dice coming from multiple sources let's just say jan right you could still not make it five or um uh, range one comes before the seven fleet gunner, right? Yeah. Okay, so, so you don't okay. need it then. Still, um, four dice attacks are the sort of thing you need to get past the star vipers three. And defenses. second edition four dice attacks are they're uh, they're pretty powerful. Yeah, absolutely. There's nobody, nobody, but let's say Vader has got consistent defense. Yeah. Uh, Kylo, Vader, and Kylo are the only two ships in the game with consistent defense that can deal with that. I suppose the the uh, Jedi ships when they don't have 7B. I imagine we're going to see a study in arc dodging here of, uh, from Dawn. Um, the Star Vipers are going to have... And there is no try. There's yeah. only do. <laughs> do or do not. Do or do not. Those crack shots are going to be easy to pull off. Um, and if Dawn is careful... Um, he might be able to wipe an arc off the board in one round if he manages to get all four three dice attacks on it. I think he's going to have to play for the careful side, so he's going to have to assume he's not going to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm more likely he's going to be trying to avoid arcs. So arc number one is sinker. Okay. Right there. Yep. So uh, we should keep in mind where he's going. So we got two turns. And two and three um, are our uh, seventh fleet gunner ships right Oop. so doing a bunch of two turns yeah just the whole gang two turning yeah zero must says that don will be fine because of those curvy barrel rolls uh i am inclined to agree if if anything is going to help um it's uh that curvy barrel roll um did he do that barrel roll correctly yeah it looked good enough to me okay um Medium base barrel rolls are always a little strange. Yeah, I'll jump in if I see them going wrong. Yep. Don will uh, probably do something non-committal here. That is a both beautiful and terrifying Ooh. sight. Four yeah. arcs. Oh yeah. <laughs> four arcs versus four star vipers. So that's oh a no, three star viper! You're gonna have to go face all those guys alone. If only you had a, a barrel roll <laughs> that could get, get you out of there. <clears throat> I mean, that's what he's gonna be trying to do, right? Come at them from the side. Um, Gus's next turn will probably be to turn. Two well, it was again. the correct move for Gus to turn that way yep. because that prevents him from getting flanked. And here we have a bump by a Star Viper. 
probably. We're seeing some not unexpected stuff yep. with yep. these vipers. I don't think he can barrel roll there, so he just settles for the straight. He's taking the same tack he took with um, Perry's list earlier. It looks like he's grouping the star vipers into two groups. Uh, <clears throat> so that one group will be able to flank at the very least, while the other one dodges and remains slippery. Okay, there's only an hour and nine minutes here. So <laughs> there's not that much time. Both of them if have to worry about getting a bad first engagement, which mm -hmm. leaves them behind, yep, and then absolutely. trying to claw their way back. So <clears throat> neither of these lists are particularly well advised to, against each other at any rate, try to stall. What I think what I should do here is a one bank with four. Um, and then a one straight with three, one bank with sinker, and one straight with two. A one straight So with basically three? not go fast. Yeah, just kind of keep yourself slow. Just rotate a little bit so that you can deal with them coming at you either angle. Why not turn all three, though? Um, why not turn four, three, and one, all one banks? Uh, three doesn't like the one bank because he can't two turn after that uh, to the left because that uh, orange asteroid would be in the way. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. he could do three straights. No, he's just going to do one straights. Are those non-regulation obstacles? Yes. But, they are indeed. Uh, they are also older than time. <laughs> Dawn has had them forever. I think they came from Team Covenant back in the day. Just one straight for everybody. Yep. Yeah. Now he's got the two turn left open to him if he wants it next turn, mm -hmm. which, you know, is great with sinker. If and, one of those vipers uh, tried to stay on the flank, then he has a very big threat against it. Uh, yeah. How do you approach this as the star vipers? Well, I think doing a, a three straight. I mean, you, you need to bait a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Just keep it slow until the one turn where you can... Not too slow. You don't want to give them too many options. You want to bait a little bit. Now, we'll see how well this this does for this Viper here. <clears throat> yeah. I think what Don's going to try to do is keep himself just out of range 3 until Gus is forced to commit to getting closer, mm -hmm. and then you... Um, oh, he's committed both Star Fibers. Hmm. Upwards. Interesting. So I'm thinking Gus does the hard 2 next turn, right? And With if everything? Has, um... Yeah, or... Mm. No, not with two guys on his flank. Worst threat, right, is... One banks. Is Gus turns his entire list towards one of these two groups. Yeah. And then that that group just doesn't engage while the other ones do. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's what I'm thinking, um, is the, the issue Gus has to avoid. So I'm wondering if Gus is going to... is going to just bank, right? If Gus is just banking with these guys. Yeah, that would be the goal. Right. That lines up Sinker's side arc nicely. It's going to be very hard for the Star Viper to get as far forward mm -hmm. as um, as we'd like. Um, if he's doing like a, a four forward and, um, if and he, a barrel roll If he something. does all one banks, then the Star Viper could four forward yep. and do a barrel roll or do a boost and focus and probably dodge. <laughs> three of the arcs so my guess some straights in there would be good but we'll see my guess is don's gonna spend one more turn trying to stay out of range he's gonna just one straight and barrel roll so he stays farther out right same thing with number four here three and four they're probably going to just try to stay out of range right and then the turn after that he can zoom past and into whatever position he wants and then these guys here can just uh come in they're probably gonna move pretty fast this turn my guess uh, three or four straights from the Star Vipers here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, numbers one and two. Get them into flanking position, right? So that next turn they can turn in. Who are you rooting for at home, folks? My heart's with the Star Vipers, I think. Always has been, always will be. Oh, we've got three banks, is that right? Yes. Yeah. So if Don has done something careful, he's going to end up getting shot. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's going to be very hard to stay out of range here. But if he's done something fast with um, one and two, Star Vipers one and two, he's going to get shots on um, 
I think that's arc number two. Well, no, there comes the barrel. Roll. Okay, let's see if he does this right. Straight and I just went middle to middle, so that's no problem. Yeah. We have the four straight here, as expected. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> and a barrel roll is not going to save him, so he's going to do the boost and focus. Oh, he's a straight boost. Boost link focus. Great. Yeah, he's really got to hold his tokens defensively. Yep. And there's the other four straight. Coming out wide. Yep. Now he can boost around, and actually, I think he manages to dodge the arc here. Oh, no, he's barrel rolling. Hmm. Ah, he's going to, um, he's setting himself up to ignore two, maybe take a few pot shots this turn, but he wants to put himself in position to go after um, these three in, mm -hmm. in the top right here. <clears throat> now, what are these guys doing? Three bank, just charging in. Ooh. Wow. That's rough. Where are the Seventh Fleet's gunners? Two and three? Uh, the Seventh Fleet gunner is yeah. on two and three. Number three is... Okay, yeah. We're, we're, Dawn is learning where stuff is as well. Yeah, there's no booster barrel roll which helps him particularly here. Yeah, I'm wondering if he could get behind the debris cloud, but it's a little too far away. No, nah, and, yeah. and also that ruins he's his a little attack. too far forward. So he's going to go with the boost try to concentrate fire he's gonna dodge one arc i think yeah, he's just gonna good. sacrifice um this fellow here <clears throat> maybe what's this one doing i'm worried about star viper number three star viper number four though can um just barrel roll and kind of maintain distance everybody uh, or, all the arcs are in sinker side arcs or do you just boost towards number two here? Just follow along. Yep. I don't know. Does he have range to number two? Well, he might after that boost. <clears throat> I mean, uh, one thing that Don has done is he's stressed himself with everybody. I'm surprised he didn't bank boost. And these guys move first. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, uh, one um, sinker is in a very good position to block. Next, uh, no, does Sinker move first? Sinker yes. moves first. Yeah, very good position to block next turn. Uh, yeah, so Sinker should shoot first. We've got three dice. Ooh, that's a there hit and go. two crits, it looks like. So he'll lose his shield. Yeah, shield's gone on the first Star Viper. Don has a very particular way of rolling his dice, I find. And he takes his time with it. So Sinker was the only guy without re-rolls? <laughs> yeah. So that was rough. Okay, so... Dude in the yeah. back. They're all going to shoot at number two, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, four, we'll see. Is... Four may shoot somebody else. None of those shots are obstructed, it looks like. Uh, fours will be. Oh, fours, yeah. If that's Hyper in range. Force, yep. If it's even in range. Hyper four shoots. That's two hits. Only gets two. Blanks. Two shields off. Arc two. That looks like range two. We'll see. Don's rolling them extra long. <clears throat> That's focused for two. Whew. Versus one die. Blanks. That's another two hits on. Yep. So only five remain. I mean, Don is hoping to take it out here. Yeah. But uh, odds are not good. Um, Star Viper number three does get crack shot on this. Yes, he will, but yeah. he's got no token. Yeah. And he's spending everything to try to achieve this. Yeah. I think he's too far behind. Yeah, one evade, one damage. So he's not going to remove that yeah. guy. It's not going to happen. <clears throat> really rough. Um I mean, given the position he was in, chances were he was not going to do it. Yeah, He's rolled all right, all things considered. He probably hasn't rolled uh, above average. He's <clears throat> rolled a little bit below, but, like, again, it's a little bit below. Like I said, nine yep. health ships is just, it's just really tough. So it looks like it's a range three shot, not obstructed. Well, if he's really lucky. If he, he rolls nah. some crits here, he can maybe pull it off. That's yeah. a eye yeah. and a hit crit. crit. Hit crit. 
Double blank. Not enough to kill him, even with a direct hit. Yep. Which is really unfortunate. Wow. Like I say, it was extremely unlikely that he was going to achieve it. It's a loose stabilizer, so that's um. So uh, that fellow can't do anything but a. Well, he's got meter. two health, so he could do something else, take a damage, and just kind of move into a blocking position, yeah. something well, like that. We'll see how many star vipers are left here at the end. <laughs> well, this is going to be a four die shot somewhere. Yeah. So. So sink or reroll, four die shot. Range one. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Only one crit on Viper 3. Lucky. Viper 3 is getting lucky. Yep. Viper 3 rolls. Nope. Takes a crit. Ah, so unlucky Viper 3... roll. <laughs> sure. But, I mean, the uh, only one hit for a four dice attack. So yeah. Uh, absolutely. Pretty lucky. All right. Another loose stabilizer. stabilizer. That's really bad. And this guy must shoot over there. Well, I think if number three survives, its goal is to just shoot... Um, the damaged uh, arc next turn. I think that arc does like a uh, hmm. and he could just do a one straight to pull that off. Range two into number four, and he's getting the bonus of seven fleet gunner because he's an arc. Ooh, but is that range available? Yeah, well we know because oh, yes, of the it shot. Is. Yep. I mean, maybe not with the vagaries of like corners and stuff. Well, it should be corner to corner here, so it's... Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So he's using 7th Fleet Gunner on number 2, it looks yes. like, the one who's about to die. Yes. So we can mark that as used. Yeah. And... There it dice. goes. Hit, hit, hit. Whatever shit that is shot at, it's not going to live. Two, two eights, eights, so... So hit crit. No, it might live. It's very lucky. It was not a crit. I don't know. He, I'm not sure he was shooting at. Uh, number four was shooting at number four. That was number four? Oh, okay, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. <clears throat> So, we'll take a crit. Yes, yeah, so I missed it as well. Here what? <laughs> we don't know what that crit was, oh, but yeah. we'll find out. I do not know. Uh, looks like number two is shooting Star Viper number three. The GRX. And he's using number three's Seven Fleet Battalion Gunner, so that's another four dice attack. And two hit, days. hit, sinker re reroll, just two hits against... Two hits against number three. Number three will live. Oh, he will live, absolutely. Ooh, that's a big deal for Don. It is. Huge deal. Four dice. Two of eights. Three, three of eights. eights. Lots of eights. Okay, so we hear, first of all, that there are more people rooting for Don, and then the entire GRX car is cheering for our five Don four. <laughs> I mean, if you have any sense of, like, you know, the history of X-Wing in Ontario, you root for our five. Sorry, Gus. I mean, this game is far from over. Those oh, are absolutely. extremely tanky ships. <laughs> uh, Star Viper really number costume. three, though. Ooh, wounded, wounded pilot. By... All right, well, the worst crits. Uh, Star Viper number three is probably just doing a one straight. That's my guess. Which one is number three? Yeah. Yeah, do a one straight and put yourself in a position to finish off um, the uh, hundred uh, the the damaged yeah. arc. Uh, now that then... that arc can do neither a one straight nor a two straight, I think, which are its blue moves that are also straights. You think arc number two? There? Yeah, I think they both hit the rock. So it, cannot... uh, it also has loose stabilizer. Yes, and so that's the thing. <laughs> so maybe it just does a three straight and tries to block Star Vipers one and two. Mm -hmm. Star and Viper three does a one straight. Four. Star Viper two does a one straight. No matter what happens, and just PS kills two. Arc two. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Star you Viper could two. Do that. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And then oh, you do something else. Case, number one. Number three should sloop. Yeah. So I think uh, Arc one takes this opportunity to bank two. And block. Block, take a focus, shoot <coughs> Viper 1 wherever it goes. Uh, number 3, is, uh, Arc 3 is Sinker, right? Am I correct? No. Arc, arc 1 is Sinker. So that is sinker. sinker. Yeah, that's also a great spot for Sinker. Everybody will be in it. All his pals will be in his side arcs. In which case... Hmm, this is trouble. This is tricky. It is. I think I think what needs to happen with these Star Vipers here is one straights and barrel rolls. Right. So I I think I think that uh, who, there. Gus has to do that three straight with number two. Either that or a three straight. No, sorry, arc two has to do a three straight. Hmm. Um, and 
I think that'll block the one forward from the Star Viper. Alternately, he could do a two bank, which is blue, to the left. It's a clear stress, and then barrel roll in front of Star Viper one. Yeah, that and a barrel roll. That leaves him at one hull, and position. it means two will kill him. But he may get the block on one. All these stress tokens on these yeah, Star Vipers is really straight. troublesome. Oh, there's the three straight. That blocks. Yeah. Doesn't even need a yeah, barrel roll. Surely Dawn will see that coming, though. Yeah. Uh, but there's no blue maneuver that the Vipers have, right, that can pass through that space. They have a three straight, I believe. Yeah, I don't and think that that'll... Sh mm, yeah, maybe. I, I think that makes that. Uh, I do not know. But whether or not that lands on the rock is the other question. Three straight? Nah, it won't land on the rock. Okay, we got a two turn from number four. Bumps. Another hard two. He's just going to bang everything everywhere. Yeah, putting himself he, into blocked positions here. He plans on killing the heck out of uh, Star Viper 3. Sorry? Plans on killing the heck out of Star Viper 3. Now, there's kind of a an overconfidence going on here in Gus's part, isn't there? He's going to put Sinker in. He's going to get re-rolls. And that will end the life of Star Viper 3. He's fairly confident. But, um... I think, I think... Whoa, baby. Star Viper 1's in a blocking position. Yes. Yep. Oof. Do you think Gus dialed in a three straight for Star Viper number I think one? that was just unnecessary. I think that was an accident and not strategy. Because I don't two? see why the two bank wouldn't have done just fine. Yeah, <laughs> we could have a one bank from Star Viper three. One one straight from Star Viper three. It looks like uh, Star Viper three does have the loose stabilizer, so it will cost Star Viper three a health. No, Star Viper three just does the one straight, yeah. bumps into Sinker. You know what? I don't think Sinker will be giving rerolls to Arc three. Correct. Uh, he will not. Probably ain't gonna matter. Both of the um, Seventh Fleet guys got used last turn, right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's still uh, uh, eight red dice. So that's probably the end of our pal Star Viper 3. I-4, Black Sun Assassin, is the wounded pilot. Um, no, no, they've got them switched. He... No, I'm reading what it just says here, so... Yeah, sorry. Um, but no, he does not take a damage for this. This one doesn't have loose stabilizer. This one has wounded pilot. Yeah, that's what I was saying. But they just gave him a damage. Did they? I think so. <clears throat> so we're just double-checking on who has which crit. And that's a two-bank from Star Viper number one, which is an excellent position to avoid the block. Uh, it looks like we've got... Yeah, there we go. We'll fix the crits on our um, page here. They didn't have the wrong cards and the wrong ships. Don just I made a mistake. I sworn we did, but that's all right. Okay. No, no, yeah, we we, we were right. No, oh, yeah, we we had the wrong ones. Yeah. We wow. still have the wrong ones. Oh, hey, that Star Viper did get out. Yeah. Was it a two bank blue, which we forgot about because of the addition uh, change? Two bank blue for nice. the Star Viper, and then a barrel roll here. Yeah, seems unnecessarily finicky. The the range one shot would have done the trick, hmm. but he looks like he still has arc. Well, he didn't necessarily have arc in that. Um, yeah, remember to use that. Yeah. Otherwise, pointing to the screen tells <laughs> the audience nothing. All right. So who shouldn't who? Well, Sinker's got no shot. No, he goofed. Not us. He goofed. No, but then this guy. I'm so confused. Don't worry about yep. it. Don't worry about it. It's all sorted <laughs> in there. It's correct in there. Yep. It's all good. The upshot is Don gave himself a damage he didn't have to. Uh, there was the inevitable death of uh, arc number two. That seemed to be a shot from... Was that Star Viper 3 or from Star Viper 2? That was 2. It's the only one with arc. Yeah. 3 didn't have arc on him? Oh, maybe it did. Uh, 4, I believe, is shooting into... Italian pilot uh, arc, number three. Arc three? Yeah. You gotta get to work sometime. Yep, and nobody's harmed. Okay, so things are being sorted out there. I think one of the Black Sun Assassins is gonna untake a point of damage. Yep. See, I could. Yeah, so we had it right the first time. Yeah, okay, so loose stabilizers. So there was no on damage three. taken. Loose okay. stabilizers on three, wounded pilots on four. Right? There we go. So we were right the first place. But Don was also right. Anyway, the story of the mistakes made. And so uh, four <laughs> should have uh, one hull back. 
That means Dawn was right. Okay. Uh, you sure? Let's figure out who's shooting who here, no, folks. That, he has the one damage from the yeah, but he's got he's missing two here. Somebody took some damage. I want to know who. Four? Yeah, he's missing a shield and. Uh, and one oh, that's right. Yes. Okay. Yep. There we go. Yep. Sorry. There we go. I have no idea what just happened. Um, they are shooting at number three here. Their number, his number doesn't matter. Yep. Look, you made and pushing a he just pushed a crit through. On oh, his crack shot must have been used. Yep, just now. Mm -hmm. uh, he's attacking number three. Number three is just one of the I twos. Who's also lost some shields uh, from, I think, number four shot. Yeah. Well, we, all of them have. Yeah. So we have a hull breach going on. So. On to Gus's shots. Mm -hmm. So it looks like Gus has side arc for his arc number four. Yep, and that's going to do it. And this is going to end the life of Star Viper 3. Ouch. Uh, I mean. I mean, if he rolls two nat evades, he's still probably getting killed by the other guy. Mm -hmm. See one evade, can't see the other die. Well, he didn't make it then. No, he takes two. Oh, wow. Yep. So he's living. Well, that's good news for Don. Yeah, Forcing absolutely. the other shot into Star Viper number three. Yeah, and that's going to end Star Viper three, probably. I mean, unless it blanks, which is entirely possible, because as I say, <laughs> Guff was overconfident and did not take mods. So oh, he whiffs. not a... Yeah. Ooh, that's two focuses, two blanks, and no tokens for... Uh, battalion pilot. I've seen three. it. I see it frequently enough now. People will play lists with like really high jousting power, mm -hmm. and they'll just get overconfident. They'll mm -hmm. just be like, "I'll oh, just bang my guys together. I'll just do this." And it's like, if your jousting power is a little bit lower, you don't do stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, you need those focus tokens, right? You um, do, or target locks, or whatever. Just not. I mean, he actions. thought he'd have sinker there. Yeah, but still, I, but that's I can't only believe one it, his two turn must have been a mistake. But yeah. he put sinker on the rock, like that's bad. Sinker now has to pass through that rock again. Yep, absolutely. Sinker's not going to have an action this turn, which means um, he's prey. Oh, Star Viper three has the loose stabilizer, doesn't he? Yep, and he's but only on one hull now. Do you automatically take a damage, or is it a chance? No, you automatically take a damage if you do right. a non-straight maneuver. And so he has to do the the three straight. Which means he can't... Um, <clears throat> I mean, he could do a two straight and land on the rock. Uh, and it takes an action to flip it. Yep. Right? Um, Which means best <laughs> case scenario, Star Viper 3 is flying away to yeah. bank some points for this match. Do a three straight and hopefully don't die from the rock, which mm -hmm. is a 50-50 chance. Yes. <laughs> so that's not great for Star Viper number three. But... However, if he doesn't, that's somebody that Gus still has to kill. Yep, absolutely. You could see a hard one, actually, from Star Viper number one. If a hard one like so. Um, or in the other direction. Right? <laughs> Apostasis says, can't you see this is a land of confusion? <laughs> That's right. Down with Thatcher, Apostasis. That's a one bank here. Yeah, I think that was the only move with that, that ship could make. It's yeah. another bump. Which is great. See, now if he dialed in a sloop for uh, Star Viper number one, right? Yep. Then he's got a nice, perfect um, side arc shot against... Uh... I was thinking he'd do the one straight with that arc, though. I mean, we'll see. We will see what happens. It's very exciting. It's a traffic jam. Number three is the one who's running, right? Yeah. Perfect. I mean, Don's got a very serious lead here. Now, with yeah. the unnatural life of Star Viper 3. I mean, there's, there's a chance that Star Viper 3 just dies immediately. Oh, right? yeah. There's a huge chance. It uh, is <laughs> literally 50, 50 You might even say it's coming to him. All right. Uh, so Sinker is going over the hmm. rock with a one bang. I expected something a little faster. But I guess he wants to keep try to keep his buddies inside arc. Oh, this actually gives um, yeah. Dawn a great opportunity. I'm wondering... If Dawn is dialed in See a hard one. takes for, damage, he does not. Or one bank or hard one for number two here. So Sinker didn't take a damage when he went over that first rock? Looks like not. Okay. One straight. Yeah. No, one bank. There it yeah, is. Yeah, that's exactly where he wants to be. Now, do you barrel roll? I think you can barrel roll safely get out of arc. 
Of course you can. Yeah. Of course you do. I'm just hoping it doesn't go too far. Nah, it's fine. Nah, yeah, you're good. Yeah, you can give yourself extra room. Man, that's why I love Star Vipers. Yeah, I mean, this matchup and the other matchup we saw Don in, <laughs> is, this matchup <laughs> and the other matchup we saw Don in have just been, you know, his, because he's got these, like, I3 aces. And here's the three straight. Over the rock. Does he live? Yeah. I don't understand why people just don't roll the damn die before they move the ship. <laughs> Oh, it's a four straight. Four straight. Yeah, I suppose he doesn't even need to. Rock was nudged slightly, so he's fixing yeah. it. The non-regulation <laughs> rock being nudged by the non-regulation player. Oh. All right, let's see. Are you alive or are you dead? Here we go. This is Don's special going over rocks die. I couldn't that see what that was. That is a dead Star Viper. Was it? Yep. He just said he um, took it down. Oh. Boom. Thomas to even Steven. Uh, poor Star Viper number three. Loose stabilizer leads him to crashing right into right into a rock. Yeah, but he lived in them naturally a long, long time anyway. <laughs> True. All right, so this is this is I feel a great move. A hard two. Yep. Interesting. Getting out of some marks. He can True. barrel roll if he wishes. Uh, he's not gonna have a shot though. I think you. Hmm. But there are no great shots against him. Uh, did uh, did arc three focus? Arc three. Uh, did... I can't see a token there. So yeah, that's I see why I'm no asking. token. Yeah, I see no token either. He's going to focus. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Call preserve. And when we get over here, this is where I'd be very tempted by this loot. But this is a guy with wounded pilot. Yeah, so I, it seems, it makes some sense. Can't action. So it sounds like it's a bump. Hard one. Yep. Ooh, that's uh, that's unfortunate. It might be enough to get arc on sinker. Oh, yeah, I think he might have. Oh, I don't know. Depending on how much he actually rotates here, which mm -hmm. might not be much. No, it looks like nothing. Yeah, and he's very likely going to die from that butt arc shot. Mm. I mean, it's three dice. If there is no mod, um, <laughs> it's unlikely to kill a three health ship. But, Sinker's it's range taking a range three. three rear arc shot. That's only two dice at range three against the Star Vipers four. Yeah, with mod. So it ain't going to hit. I say out loud, knowingly, just one. These other two Vipers are full health, aren't they? Yep. Yep. I mean, they are Star Vipers. They could still pull this off. <laughs> oh, four With natural dice evades. like that? Yeah, that's a, an you insult don't to injury. There you need go. to do maneuvers. Shot into sinker? Or first shot into sinker. Just trying to see if he's got the bullseye. Who's the other damaged one? Three? Yeah. Three he ran, right? He's seeing if he's got bullseye to number four. Which he does. He does. Who's he going to shoot? He's, he's got four dice in his hand. That's going to... Four dice? Oh, no. He's shooting one. Yeah. yeah. So, focus for three. Three hits on sinker. No shields for sinker. Yeah. That's a good investment in the future. Probably the right choice. Yep. No shot there. Yeah. And no shot for number four, unfortunately. Really unfortunate uh, positioning for Don there. He's not getting I mean, any shots this round. The bump with number four may actually work out. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Being behind these guys, great. Uh, um, insofar as four can't shoot him. That's yep. arc four cannot shoot Viper four. Yep. We've got three dice. Do we have any mods? Well, we got sinker. And we get two, which is pretty good. Against range three on unobstructed or obstructed? Uh no, this is it. The dude is right there. Ow, oh, he takes both. Sorry, who's shooting here? Yeah. Arc 3 just shot at oh. Viper 4, who yes, took two damage. Sorry. I thought Arc 4 was shooting. <laughs> Which really wasn't lucky, but then there was some lucky there stuff. There you go. This is going to be range 3 obstructed. Yep. So that's three dice on mm -hmm. uh, with, with a reroll. Yep, sinker reroll. Which we'll use for two. He's fine. Even yeah. with half the dice rolled, he's fine. Uh, looks like uh, we didn't see them quite all there, but it sounds like it was enough. So, Star Vipers continue to be slippery. So now Gus has some problems. <clears throat> Number three is starting to float out of the fight. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's time to K-turn him. <coughs> oh, Gus is up. How is Gus up? I guess he got half points on... Yeah, he's got half points on Viper 3. Mm -hmm. It was only at one hull. It's and not has gonna wounded last. pilot. Um... Yeah, so we got the K here, because Gus has got to keep this guy in the fight. 
he manages to avoid the gas cloud. Which Not is that it relevant. does anything. Yeah. Yep. It does only causes you to lose your action, I believe. We weren't expecting that. No, he's not doing that. He was just checking to see if oh, he landed on the rock. Technically not quite allowed, but... Uh, Dude, why didn't you move sinker first? Oh, he's got to fit. Never mind. Plenty of room. He's on the cloud. Four lands on the gas cloud. No action for him. Really interested to see what he did with sinker. Yeah. Hard to. Yeah. That makes sense. He pulls the rear arc out towards the Star Viper. Yeah, I think you're right. I think a two bank with... Viper 2 is ideal. If it one, fits, or one or eh, two. it doesn't look like it will actually fit, so never yeah, mind me. I think me. the one bank is going to be here. One bank, there it is. Now, do you just eat the shot from number 4 so that you can kill Sinker? You really have to put a lot of damage into Sinker to kill him. you got to do 5. So he's going to barrel oh, sorry, six. Yeah, He's going to barrel roll and focus. Yeah, this guy's at full health, so... Hmm. <clears throat> Could he have boosted there? Yeah, if we've got a mm. two bank from number one, followed by a boost focus, he's in pretty good shape. Two bank from number one yep. with a barrel roll focus. Boost focus, I think, to get or on boost sinker. Boost focus, yep. Um, oh, no, not going to work. But no, the barrel roll. Barrel, barrel roll right. focus to get, get a shot. Out of arcs. Yay. <clears throat> out of the arcs, arcs. There it is. He dodges some arcs, and he's got a shot against sinker. Uh, yeah, I'm not now, sure that's a clean shot. Might what do you have think? The hard, one from, hard one from Star Viper 4? I'm still worried about that one health, dude. What is it? Hard one. There it is. Yep. He's just going in. Don, you're a man after I man. I guess if it gets down to two ships versus two ships, that's Don's game. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. If you can kill Sinker this turn, Sinker's getting one free evade from that gas cloud unless... Is this a barrel roll Don happening? is doing something. Ah, he is dodging number four's arc with a barrel roll, if he can fit. Uh, he failed. Oh, that's bad news. That is bad news. He does not get a... He doesn't forget his wounded pilot. He gets his stress. Yeah, he does not get a focus, though. Yeah. And he does get a stress. Could he have barrel rolled the other way? I don't know. Uh, well, once he made the choice... Do we know if number f uh, Viper 4 has spent crack shot or not? He is not. Looks okay, like. so we've got a range one shot coming out Sinker's butt for just one. Uh, don't spend that focus, Gus. He spends the focus. Yep. Sinker's going to eat it this turn, I think. Mm. Um, that's an unobstructed shot from Star Viper number one. Yep. Star Viper number two. So one damage into Viper two. Don doesn't care. Or at least doesn't care much. Four dice into Sinker. Mm -hmm. Don needs this for sure. Ooh, that's pretty good. Three hits, three natural hits. That's what he needs. Not a sinker takes three and has a very good chance of dying this turn. That's exactly the kind of roll Don needed. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here we go. Yep. That's some pretty masterful Star Viper flying, I think. It's pretty good. I mean, <laughs> let's uh, you know, not forget his failed barrel roll. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Uh, Don knows what he's doing. Sweet. Here. That's three. focus for three so, against one sinker die. Rolls. Nope. Not sinker a. is dead. Sinker has gone off the map, which leaves Star Viper number four a free opportunity to do yeah, some damage. Technically, he should not have been removed from the board at that state. True. Um, but there's no. Uh, it will matter. Uh, it will not. If he will, he you're will right, be you're removed right, before right, the right. Uh, pilot would um, get a shot back. Two damage into arc four. So if you're correct and he still has a crack shot, Don will spend it now. Uh, that's an, uh, that's a, um, a focus, it looks like. So, oh, okay. Yeah. No reason to spend the crack shot there. That looks like range range 3, unobstructed. Okay. All right, might as well take that first. Now, this one's still close, but Don just leaped ahead. Even if he loses this Viper, mm -hmm. that's a... Giant leap for Don kind. Oh yeah, four dies here. I mean, there's a chance, but uh... hey, two. Yeah. So yeah, could well wipe this dude out. Uh, four dice. I mean, there's a, there's a there's a decent chance surviving. Decent chance of dying. There's some chance. Yep. Now oh. that roll ain't done. No good. Kablooey. <laughs> All right, trading ships, but that leaves. Don winning by currently seven points. 
well, you can uh, Gus can still half point Viper two. It's a range two shot. He Absolutely. has no mods, and um, this dude still has a no, focus token. No, he's got a focus token. So that's what yeah. I need. Oh yes, there you go. Um, Range two is great. That's what he needs. That's two, two crits. crits. Yep. Two crits. Wow. That could be Against Star Viper number two, who has yep. no shields. So. Yeah, but two paint is average. Yep. There it Which is. Which he gets better than. That is a Star Viper doing what it needs to do. Yep. So, pretty strong lead for Dawn here. Mm -hmm. The only thing the uh, arcs really have going for them at this point is that they have back arcs. So who do you go after? Uh, number three or number one, uh, four? Three, right? Absolutely. You target both Star Vipers. If you're the Vipers, yes. Or three, yeah. Um, He's more dead yep. and has a hull breach. Yep. This is a good time for Gus to K-turn mm -hmm. arc number four. And I think just do a one straight with uh, arc number three and leave him in the cloud. Mm. Right. So that's better than having a focus token for defense. <laughs> But it does mean his attacks will be garbage. Well, it's been a pretty good tournament today. Mm -hmm. A lot of interesting things. He said a massively wide variety of lists. It's a pretty good variety. There was a lot of uh, um, Republic Aces. I saw a lot of that. Mm -hmm. That was the hot new thing. That was the thing which was trending, I will say. And then weirdly, there was the hidden unexpected trend of... T70 mass lists. <laughs> There's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of resistance lists. We all did fairly well getting into the top 16 and getting knocked out there. I think they're all out now. I yeah. used to fly uh, T70s quite a bit in 1.0, and I haven't gotten really around to flying flying much of them in 2. And I really ought to, because mm -hmm. it sounds like they're a lot of fun. T70s, yeah. I mean, you can't get hung up on, like, playing Carrie Cun and being like, oh, I'll make her good, I'll make her good. No, <laughs> she's just too expensive. But you can do Snap and Ello and some other... Snap and Ello remain as expensive as they were. Yeah, but they, they I mean, they make a make a pretty good team, I think. <laughs> They're uh, fun guys. Fun to fly. It's got Barrel Roll, which I don't think is a good idea. Now I wonder if... Uh, um, Even if he blocks... Viper 2. Mm. Viper 2 has just got it dice-wise over arc 3. And he still got that crack shot. Uh, he did dial in a 3 straight. Mm -hmm. Which gets blocked very conveniently by Doesn't really matter. arc number 4. Yeah, he's almost fine with it. I mean, it would be really nice to have that focus. If Gus gets lucky here, he'll be kicking himself. Yep. But I think the odds favor him well enough. So one bank, it looks like. Plus a barrel roll probably some star vipery nonsense and put arc number three to sleep he needs to do five damage to it so that's five. actually it's doable it's um it certainly is and with that hull breach helping yeah not having a focus definitely makes it more difficult but yes the hull breach could potentially cause all sorts of trouble say if anything that's what's bringing gus down this game that he's had so many rounds where he just hasn't had um uh, focus tokens like he, he's had like two mm. three all game mm -hmm. on on the ships not counting the ones where they were not shooting so yeah range dos and is, just one oof. unfortunate but it's going I mean, through and it's a crit because it's a hull breach crit what do we got damage sensor race so no actions for number three yeah that's <clears throat> hardly hurts them I mean, if he puts three damage in here, he could probably kill him. Nah. That's two hits. Two hits. It is going to hurt. And crack shot, I believe. He keeps saying they have crack shot left. Oh, no. He doesn't have crack shot left. That's a shame. So it looks like it was a direct. So that leaves that dude on two hull. Oh, no. It'll be two face up cards the direct and then another one. Correct. Are actually. they doing the next one face up? Yeah, yep, it should yeah, be. He, he gets one more. He gets one more crit. Yeah. Um, make sure that happens. Should happen before these dice. And he got, so he gets a panicked pilot. Okay. Well. Guide damage sensor array anyway. And there we go. Double evades, and so Don takes nothing. So this is looking like it might be curtains for Gus. And only seventeen minutes left. I think Don kills 
Number three then just like disengages and plays his own damn game. He clear? He's clear? I don't know. Uh, stuff's moving around. Nope. He yeah. just misses the rock. I mean, Don taught so many people in Ontario how to play. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if Don lets you do something, then it's okay. Yeah. Because Don taught you the rules. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, that's not bad. And... Two or one? Doesn't he have only have one hole left? I think it's no, two. No, 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 because they flipped it over. Yeah, yeah, yep. Never mind. Two hole. That, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. The obvious McObvious one straight. Hey, how about a... Well, maybe the bank boost doesn't make it. I don't know. I'll just do one of them thingies. Yep. Throw roll. Don't yeah. care about your extra wide arcs, Mr. Arc. <laughs> Throw roll. Take a focus. Mm -hmm. And... Wipe number three out. Let's see what he did with number number two. I yeah. guess the one turn is actually pretty I'm good. Thinking, I'm this thinking. This turned out turn. to be a very yeah. good call. One turn, one turn, one turn. But he keeps pointing to that dude, so obviously something happened. He's just checking how much health he's got. Oh, I see. Hard two. Hard two. Okay, not quite as not quite as great, but still going to set him up. Oh, can he barrel roll out? Uh, yeah, he can absolutely barrel roll towards uh, towards us here at the yep. bottom of the screen. Yes, sir. still caught in. Uh, number three's rear arc, I believe. So if he completely whiffs with num his Viper 1 and three lives, rolls extremely hot and does a whole bunch of damage. It's possible, but this is a Seriously, obstructed shot. Is it obstructed? I think so. I mean, this goop doesn't go all the way over. I think that's something yeah. else over there. But it, it matters of what's in arc here. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I just don't think that the... Oh, unobstructed. Okay. Yep. Two. Dead. That's that's a dead arc who takes two more crits. Oh, yeah. They're crits as well. Kablooey. Any word in other games? So the only other one is Tim versus Evan. Um, uh, and we have no word. Um, you know what? I'll let this play out and you can finish talking, Mike, and I'll go check. All right, guys. We're left with just me uh, as we take a look. Um, ooh, Star Viper number two just landed three hits and a crit natural into the last remaining arc, who's going to be down to three hull. And that's really bad news for Gus. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the crit was. I did not see it. <clears throat> we'll find out what that crit is, but whatever it is, it's not good news for Gus. Uh, the arc is taking one last pot shot out the rear at um, Gus's full health Star Viper. Does one hit, and uh, Gus rolls three blanks and a hit, or uh, and a uh, uh, focus, and um, that looks like uh, he is safe. One more round, and I don't think there's anything Gus can do. Um, chances of him surviving the next round of shooting are slim to none. We're probably going to see a one or two bank here, and maybe a one straight from this Star Viper here. Uh, Gus, in the meantime, hard two, uh, three bank, who knows? Three bank, there it is. He's just running away towards the edge of the board, knowing that he's not going to survive. Oh, one straight from Done. And a barrel roll to avoid the gas cloud. That Star Viper might not actually have range on the arc. Star Viper number two, on the other hand, will. Looks like a one straight and a barrel roll. And a push for a, or a link into a focus, probably. Now, the chances of doing three damage are pretty high here. That looks like one, two, 
two hits, a crit, and I can't see the fourth die. Four hits. Four hits. There it is. One of which is a crit. Uh, nothing that Gus can do. That is game over. <clears throat> and these two shake hands, and that's it. Uh, so that is another win for Don K's quadruple Star Vipers uh, list. Um, beating out quadruple uh, Republic arcs um, in a uh, pretty tense match.